Okay, hello everybody. So we are Cowbells, and I'm just going to introduce the team before we start. So my name is Felicity, I'm a foundation year one doctor. We've got Simon, consultant pediatrician and developer, um, Alex, who's a GP, and then Henry, who's a software engineer. Um, just to go into the problem in a bit more detail, so it's relating to these devices that we call cows. Um, uh, these are computers on wheels, and if you go back to the previous slide, I've got a nice picture of what they look like. This is me on my ward round, hopefully with one of these. However, the problem that I find every day when I'm on the ward is that I can't find one of these. Or, I can find one of these, but they're broken. The battery doesn't work, the keyboard's not attached, the mouse, was it ever attached? Who knows? Last week, I went on the ward round where I went through three different cows, none of which worked, one of which worked, halfway through my note taking, stopped working, I lost all my notes. Although this is quite a, some might say trivial problem, it does actually lead to some quite not so trivial outcomes. Um, things like tests aren't getting ordered while we're on the ward round, so that's not efficient. You can slow down discharges and it can lead to notes disappearing, so you can't record contemporaneously. So, I asked these guys to help me out with the problem, and this is what they've come up with. <coughs> this is the thing. Okay, this. So we've got, uh, this idea is a nice simple thing, it's really a proof of concept, but the idea is this, uh, there's a little script that would run on every computer in the hospital that sends a kind of bit of information centrally to be stored, to be read anywhere about the status of that computer. So you know, what's its battery doing? Is it charged? Is it plugged in? Is it who's using it? Is anyone logged in? That kind of thing. So that we've got an inventory, if you like, of all the computers across the trust. What are they doing? What's their status? And that would be something that's available to anybody that's got a browser. So you could navigate to it, and whether you're somebody who uh, like runs all the IT in the department in the hospital, you can see you know, which ones are working, which ones aren't. But also, if you're a user, like Felicity, then you can look at your app and you can go, Okay, well, there's one over here, and then that one's not being used at the moment, so I know it's got 50% battery, so that should be getting get me through my ward round. Um, so here you can see on the screen, at the moment we've got two computers. We've got uh, one just standing there with Henry, and we've got one over there at the moment who is um, a junior doctor currently writing some TTOs on, just at the back there. And you can see they've both got their username. We can see how much battery there is left. And which one's plugged in, and if uh, Henry wants to plug his in again. <laughs> so, this is a kind of proof concept, and you can see we've got a nice little summary that's updated there about how many, how many computers are currently you know, working at the moment on the board. Go back to the uh, presentation. No, no, no long. Oh, wait. Yeah. So, we were designing the interface together. Um, we wanted to make it recognizable, and we thought, what would be the journey to, to get this, um, well, to how to find a working computer? So, we've got the hospital here um, where you click on, you scroll down, find the hospital where you're working, um, followed by the ward. And you can see here we've gone for the Whittington and one of the wards on there as well. Um, sort of like a similar concept to Limebyte, but with our computers on wheels, basically. Um, you'll see up next here, we've got a little uh, diagram of what the ward might look like. And here you've got the icons, um, one with full charge, one with no charge, and one with sort of medium charge, might be being used at some point. Um, the idea is here that you click on a computer that you think that you want to use, so for example this one, um, it'll tell you whether it's available, how much charge it is, and where exactly it's located. Um, you can also, from this little screen here, request to use it, so say if you've got a ward round coming up, or you could also report um, a computer if it's not working, you could submit that, and that would go directly to the IT team as well. 
So for the future, um, this will be really important to collect a lot of data to see how efficiently the computers are being used in hospital. Um, so we'd see which computers are in highest demand in what locations, um, and we could see sort of perhaps where resources need to be distributed. Um, and in the future, we could also expand this out to stationary computers um, across the hospital as well. Um, so yeah, that's... Excellent, thank you. Any questions from oh, holding out one now? Any questions from panel members? Yeah? Um, I think at the moment it's computers is your sort of focus as an important way. Um, do you envision that other applications of this sort of locating and forging technology for the rest of the hospital? For other staff? Some of them with beds, right? With the nurses just go to. Um, yeah, we spoke to someone here yesterday who had a problem with uh, beds and tracking beds. Um, I don't know how you run a program on a bed, but yeah, well, I'm sure we've worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions from the audience? I'm going to go this side first, one from over here. Hi there. Um, Given that you know every computer is going to be presumably transmitting um, its status in real time, isn't that going to deplete the battery of computers <laughs> quickly? Um, and in response to your question, um, your question about how you're going to run a program on a hospital bit, wouldn't an air tag or a towel tag do something quite similar, apart from tracking obviously the battery health of a computer? Well, this is Wi-Fi. Enabled, so the idea is that it goes to a central place where we store the data and then it pulls back. So, I mean, you can use air tags, Bluetooth, that is though, so you, that's more the sort of distance where things are within the walls. But this won't give you, that won't give you inventory of where everything is across the whole organisation. I think the important thing to say about this project, it's nice and simple, and the other important thing to say about it is, is that it's a really nice use of resource, right? Because we're not ever going to get any more money out of the NHS right at the moment. But we, we've all got computers, half of them often don't work, or we don't know. So it'd be really helpful for us working on the system, at least to be a bit more efficient with the resources that we have, to know where the computers are, the ones that are working, and the ones that are running into battery, perhaps we have a system that maybe just plug them in. <laughs> a small intervention might, might change some lives. Excellent. Uh, how long have we got? Uh, two minutes. Okay, have we got any more questions? Any questions from over here? Yeah. Uh, and developing a predictive algorithm for inpatient length of stay is the next project. Uh, yeah, I think I, I missed this part, but um, how, how does it communicate its uh, location and charge level? Is it, is, it, is, it like, is it hardware or software installed on it? There's a server, so it, it, it reports to a server that then stores the information and then through an API sure. publishes it to a website. Excellent, thank you very much. <laughs>